Hey guys, it's Fatal Fusion with Fatal Fusion Studios, and today we're going to go ahead and talk about the Computer Craft mod for Minecraft. This by far is my most favorite mod we've ever reviewed. Only because I'm such a huge computer programmer. So first, you know, the first thing we have to craft is... Well, I wonder, the computer. Uh, there's two types. You can have the computer or the advanced computer. Now, I would like to let you know, I cannot find advanced computer. There's the advanced monitor. There is no advanced computer in here. So you kind of have to just craft it to get it. But uh, here it is. Here's the recipe. Uh, seven gold ingots, one redstone, and one glass pane. And same thing over here at the redstone and the glass pane, except you take out the gold ingots, you're going to put in stone. And you get the computer. The next thing you need is the disk drive. Well, you don't need it, but you can have it if you want. Here's a disk drive, and simply seven uh, smooth stone and two redstone. Do craft that. The printer is here, and it is seven smooth stone, one redstone, and an ink sack. These are pretty fair crafting recipes, if I do say. Uh, floppy disk is a redstone and a paper. The two monitors are all um, eight uh, stone and a glass pane, and there or eight uh, gold ingots and a glass pane to get the advanced monitor or the regular monitor. The modem, which is used for the turtle, the mining turtle, to use what it's called. Whoops, uh, right here. And uh, I'm not reviewing that today, so you can check out the. Uh, they have a wiki for this mod, you can check out the wiki for it, but if you want to know how to craft the wireless modem, craft the wireless modem, sorry. Uh, that's eight stone and a redstone torch. Um, I believe I covered all the crafting recipes I have down here. Yes, okay. Well, let's go inside my little house here. And uh, I have a little home computer there for the fun of it. Um, um, let's go ahead and shut it down, we don't need it. Uh, let's go over to my computer desk. So, this is where we'll be doing our work for the day. Okay, in my chair. Uh, first things for, I don't feel like I'm in my chair. Okay, there we go. First things first, here are my two computers. Now I'm going to go ahead and click this up and I, I have a floppy, floppy disk in here, that's why. Um, let's just tell it to, uh, tell it to quit. It's going to tell me, disregard the message. Okay, here we now. When you start your computer up, um, let's just do this. Let's do how to shut down, close it, and reboot it. Now it's going to start up with Craft OS 1.4. Now uh, you can type in programs, and this is what you can run inside of this. Now this is a whole like DOS operating system, and it has programming language built in. It's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I even love the language. But uh, here's all the stuff, and you run it. The cans are basically the same way they kind of are in DOS, so you can kind of figure it out and know what you're doing here and there. So we are going to go ahead and tell it. Um, if you type in edit, and then give, uh, you can make a program, your own program. Uh, we'll give it a name. We'll call it uh, test. Here I'm editing test, and I'm going to go ahead and tell it to print hi. And then wait three seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Control, Save, Tab, oh well not Tab, Control and Exit. Now here we're back to the main OS, and I'm going to type in Test, and it's going to run my program and say Hi. Wait a couple seconds and go ahead and give my console back. Now we're just going to go ahead and tell it to shut down, and we're going to talk about a little program I generated for this. Now my program I made is on the floppy disk. I'm going to place that in the disk drive here and simply run the operating system and it automatically knows to boot it. But what if it didn't know to boot it? Well, I'll explain that here in a minute. So we're going to go to my advanced computer and we're going to type in this command. Edit disk dash startup. Now on my floppy disk over here, the program you're seeing right now is called startup. So it's the state of fusion operating system boot disk version 1.1 and I asked me for my password. If I type in something that's not right, um, hello world. It says, oh, hell no, you have one job. Remember the password. What do you do? You forget the damn password. So we come back to the main boot screen again. Now I'm going to type in fusion. Fusion. Oh, man, why can't I type today? Fusion time. It says, hello, fatal flare, preparing for resident signal. OS.processing, the BIOS tells us that. 
Tails is displaying a redstone current 1 to the left and hexadecimal current 0 and it gives us a response or shut down 3, 2, 1, gone. Now we're going to go ahead and break that code down for you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the floppy disk. And you see I do have an item over here for to emit a redstone signal, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and execute this command. Uh, term.clear is a command that clears the console, kind of, not really, it's not a CLS, not a clear screen command, but it tells the computer, hey, you know, we're, we're done executing whatever it was executing before this. We're going right back to the main screen, okay? And then we tell it to set the cursor to position 1-1. One, one. If you imagine this console is a grid, the cursor's top left. Then we tell it to print Fatal Fusion OS boot disk version 1.1. Now, if you're a C++ programmer, uh, you may know the endl command. That's essentially what print does compared to write. Or if you're a Java programmer, or well, let's use C sharp. Um, if I said console.write versus console.write line, if I it's like that. Print means it's going to print that line and then go down to the next line. Write means you're going to continually write on the same line. So we tell it that, and then we give it say, make a new variable pass and tell it to save fusion time. Then we tell it to write password on the screen and then write a variable called input and tell it to read. So now it says Fatal Fusion OS boot disk version 1.1, makes a password that stores a value fusion time, uh, and then saves password. Now it's going to let you import something. So if I type in fusion time, let's put the next line says, then say hello Fatal Flare, preparing for red sun signal. Sleep means wait. So we wait two seconds and we say BIOS OS processing. Wait three seconds. BIOS OS dot redstone current is 1L, which in hexadecimal we're going to pretend it means 1, which in BIOS or uh, binary means on. Redstone current is on and shooting the current out to the left. Redstone dot set output left true. So it means you know the current's there. Wait two seconds, turn the current off. Say redstone current is zero. Um, Tell it to wait three seconds, and then say OS responding, and then there's my computer's IP address I put in there. Wait two seconds. Tell it to shut down. Message for BIOS. Uh, FFOS is preparing to power off. Wait three seconds. Sleep one. Print two. Sleep one. Print one. Sleep. Um. Ooh. Wow. I do not know how I missed that. I actually. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait one second, and then we tell it to actually shut down. It says else, which means if you did not enter the password. And then there's my fun statement. And then we tell it to say rebooting, wait three seconds, and actually reboot the system. And then end means uh, your uh, if else and end loops. Now there are functions in here. There are while loops. There are, I mean, everything. It's completely awesome. Now we hit, you hit control. That's how you get to this menu to save, exit, or print. We'll talk about that in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and exit the uh, computer and to execute this you simply do disk dash startup because you think about it if I type in startup because I saved the program on the computer it's gonna do it why don't I type disk as like a C drive and then dash the startup like it's just it's just simple you know and if I tell it to shut down it will say goodbye and the computer will power off and you notice there's no cursor compared to what there was a cursor a minute ago so we'll go ahead and take our floppy disk our floppy drive and paste it back up in here and you see if I open the printer, I already printed it. Now all you had to do to print was to go, oh, okay, uh, it tried to run and when I fixed that air thing I thought I fixed, I must not have. But uh, to edit something you simply type in edit and then uh, I put disk dash because it's on the floppy disk, otherwise you wouldn't do this. Start up. Now, uh, I call this startup because the computer knows to run startup, but I mean, just saying. Um, let's go down here. I should have looked at the line the error was on, but I probably know it's going to be on this line anyway. Print up, yep. Well, that was, uh, I can't believe I caught myself. I didn't catch myself. Oh my gosh. Um, save. Now, you would go over to print, and you would select the print button, and it would say printing page one of three, because this is three pages worth of information. Um, so we're going to go ahead and break that down. All you need is put in paper up in here, and an ink sacks over here, and it'll print your pages. And, um... It tells us is the program startup. So here we go, the first page. All you gotta do is right click it and you can see my code has been saved on these pages. And there's three pages in my code. Which I think is absolutely awesome. Oh my, wait, no, let's go down here.
uh, will tell this computer to shut down and tell it goodbye. Now, uh, for the fun of it, oh, and the red sense signal did go here, but you just didn't, you weren't able to see it from my perspective. Uh, for the fun of it, we're gonna turn on too many items. Uh, go here. I'm gonna grab ourselves a brand new floppy disk. Let's grab purple. Yeah, I like purple. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Put purple in this computer. Now this floppy disk has no data on it. Now of course we can save data on it, but we're not going to. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna write a program for the computer. We're gonna tell it to edit uh, startup. This computer does not have a startup program, so we'll do that. Or actually no, let's tell it to edit. Um, Okay, we're gonna make a program called Skynet OS. If you know anything about Skynet, that was the computer system used in Terminator, which I love that movie. So yeah, we're using Skynet OS. So we just made the program Skynet OS, and now we're in the editing screen. All we're simply gonna do is make this like, hmm. Okay, we're gonna ask. First of all, we're gonna tell it to print Skynet. OS 1.4. Oh, okay. And then below that, we're going to make another password. Set the password equal to enter. And then we're going to say if. No, sorry. We have to do input. Input is a variable. You can name whatever you want. Equals read if input equals pass. Then print welcome cyborg. I totally spelled that wrong. Um, welcome term terminator. Yeah, if it's not that. Print, you have been terminated. And now that is the most simplest computer program I could think of for this. So now we're going to control, save it, control, exit. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and do edit disk dash hack. So that was a program on the disk called Hack. So now we head over to here and we tell it to. Well, um, that was pretty simple. Uh, print hacking Skynet OS 1.4, and then we'll give it a couple dots to prove it's hacking. We'll tell it to sleep. For five seconds, and then term dot clear, which I need to check that real quick. I need to make sure it's term dot yeah term dot clear, and then we're gonna tell it to term dot set um, cursor position one dash one. And that should actually do it, I believe. Okay, now if we tell it to shut down the computer, and we're going to go ahead and test our system on this computer over here. We'll take our hacking floppy disk, or actually, we got to test on this computer. This computer has Skynet. And then we tell it to run Skynet. Yep. What did I name the program? Skynet? Okay, programs. Hopefully it shows up in this list. Yep, there it is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it actually shows up. That's awesome. OS. Execute it. Are you kidding me? Edit. Skynet. That was who? Go figure. There's an error. Okay, print. Enter. Input equals read. If input is in. No, there's no problem. Unless it's actually going to complain about this. I didn't know if I had to do this or not. 
I don't think I do. Unless I have to. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care to put spaces. Hmm. Nah, pretty sure this is supposed to work. Skynet OS. Okay, what's the problem? Line four. That's what it is. Okay, edit. Skynet OS. If input is e you kidding me? It's like programming basics. How did I? F how? How? Everyone knows that. Skynet. OS. Okay. It's kind of OS 1.4. We type in enter. Actually, let's type in, yeah, let's type in enter. And welcome Terminator. And then you see now I'm in and I can execute commands as I normally do, like programs. You know, I, I'm back into the system. But now I tell it to do Skynet OS. And I type in uh, wrong password. You've been terminated. But you see now I still have the functions of this keyboard. And normally I should tell it to actually wait a second and shut down, but I didn't do that for a reason. Because uh, now we're going to go ahead and tell it to do... I'm going to get out of here, and we're going to open up, put this program in the floppy drive. And we're now going to tell it to run disk, dash... Okay, let's pretend this for a minute. Let's pretend we shut down. And the program is now... The computer's terminated. Uh, we launch her up, and we tell it to run Skynet OS. Now, Skynet OS is running on this computer. We now put in the floppy disk. I'm an average user that doesn't know the password. I can now go in here and type in, you know, whatever. Um, I'll do wrong again. You've been terminated. But now that I left the console screen open, which is my mistake as a programmer, that user can go in and say, okay, disk dash hack. Run his program, hacking Skynet. And you see the program took that five second pause, reset the cursor and everything, and cleared it. Now, I'm in. I mean, look at that. Like, it's just, it's it's logic. It is the most basic hacking program shut down, that I can think of. And now, just to show you guys something. Uh, let's take the hacking program, uh, replace these, give me these, open up this, tell it to run disk dash hack. No, 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 no. I'm actually going to tell it to edit disk dash hack. Uh, hit this button, tell it to print, close, bam, bam, bam. And there it is. So, that was the mod. And I, oh, I didn't mean to take a screenshot. Oh, snap. I meant to press F1. So that was the Computer Craft mod. Thanks for watching, comrade. Subscribe, check the link in the description below for the Facebook page. And we hope to see you guys in the next episode. And I really hope you enjoyed this mod. Because this is absolutely my favorite mod. If you're a programmer, it's absolutely amazing. There's a link in the description below to download the mod. And then below that, there's also a link to go to the wiki. So you can look up the commands, uh, the tutorials, anything is there for you that I did not cover for you today. And also if you're a programmer, I mean just damn, have that because your your commands are probably right. So, see you guys for next episode and uh, don't forget to check out the turtle on the forum page or wiki. You know what I meant. Bye. Oh, the irony. Right when I think I'm done recording and I close everything down, it's like you forgot something. And actually, I didn't move at all, so you probably don't even know I stopped the video. <laughs> oh, but I did. Um, so, yeah, I forgot to do something, um, where's this chest at? Yeah, let's get rid of all these. Um, we're gonna head down to my downstairs. There we go. Uh, let me go ahead and get me a computer. What the heck? Yeah, no, we don't want, is that guy wearing golden armor? Oh, dang it. Okay, we need a computer, and then we need a monitor. Uh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Um, let's go down to my... Okay, room of craftiness. And, uh, you're... Oh, oh, snap, oh, snap, okay. There we go. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. 
Uh, let's knock all these out. Uh, collect that up. Pow, 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 pow. Uh, and let's put a computer next to it. Now, if we open up the computer console screen, um, this, I, I love this. I'm going to type in monitor left. Now, that command tells it we're accessing the monitor left, and I'm going to type in, um, we can display stuff on the monitor. So, I'm going to type in secret dash a long time ago. Now, I'm only going to display this for a couple seconds because I don't know if there's a copyright or anything, but uh, you may have done this in your command console before, but you can actually access Star Wars from your computer. Pow. Now, it's running it on the left monitor. You look over there. Um, look, do you, do you like, are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's just epicness. Now, we'll let it keep running Star Wars for a second, and while that's doing that, yeah, that is the monitor. Stop playing Star Wars. Stop playing Star Wars. And you can do other things in the monitor. You don't have to just, like, you know, do that. You could tell it to monitor left. If we had a program, for instance. Um, programs. And you see, you'll display, like, you know, programs. Is a program now I can't write I can actually you know I just scroll down there I click to continue and I access the monitor now if we had like let's use yeah uh, I don't know what the pain is but we'll do monitor all you gotta do is type monitor left and then run something paint okay I don't even know what that was but you, you get the idea so now I can actually say back up to the screen thanks for watching i'm not gonna repeat myself again with my outro so just buy download the mod don't even think about it twice just download it good day <laughs>